Talk it over. There we go. Energy's up. We feel the things that we're feeling. I can know the fucking lyrics. My dad's dad song, and I don't know what that is. Welcome back to Lions Den. You almost said podcast. Plot. Welcome back to Lions Den. Plot class. Um. Please continue to rate and review at Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your podcast. Also, if you want to look at our beautiful faces, there's always YouTube, mm -hmm. Alliance in with Brent Moore and Jason Collins, and of course, our Clips channels as well. And as always, for your members only content. <laughs> you are. Am I fucking it up? No, I just, I could sense you forgetting the oh, 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 oh. for a second. There was a second that you always. covered yourself, but I, I just it. know you said, well, that when you got to Patreon, you were like, and um, oh, a Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> oh, that's right. We have a Patreon. <laughs> Patreon.com slash the Lions Den Pod for all your members only content. Also, we got some dates coming up. Fuck. Uh, my first one is, <laughs> we don't remember <laughs> shit. We got, you we threw, need it. We need assistance. Under the bus we definitely, mine's first. Um, yeah. I will be in Chicago at the Comedy, Comedy Bar. Bar. Memorial Day so weekend and um, Gotham. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, June, June 24th. <laughs> David, your <laughs> agent? <laughs> June 24th and 26th, Atlanta Punchline, Jason right. and I will be Atlanta there. Punchline. Right. And then uh, August 20th and 21st, Jason and I will be at Gotham Comedy Club. In, in New York City. New York City. I'm try to go. Where love exists. Where love exists. New York. <laughs> you know, though, the thing is, if we can make it there. We can make it anywhere. You can make it anywhere if you can make it there in the apple. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to go apple. The big apple. We have a guest today in the old lion's den. And that guest Finally is my a guest. beautiful, gorgeous brother, David Collings. That's at davidcollings.com. David Collings. Mm. Um, he's got with billionaire us. hair right Yeah, we've, my brother and I have been hanging. haven't been able to hang with him lately. Wow. And now that he's properly medicated, we, we're having a good time. <laughs> I, am, I, I am properly medicated now. That's true, though. Yeah. Look at that hair, though, huh? I know. It looks good. Isn't it? I told him when I, when I picked him up today at the house, I said, you got, I said he has Chewbacca hair. Oh, shit, I just made myself dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> that shit hurt. <laughs> I think I might have given myself a concussion. Oh, boy. He's concussed. Cool hat, by the way. Thank you. What does that stand for? Jacoy. It stands for Joe Coy or Just Kidding. Yeah. Can I ask you this question? Did you, did you uh, sit on that hat? No, but it was. It, <laughs> it, it looks like it because it was packaged. Because I always sit on my hat, and that's exactly how it always yeah, happens. Yeah, well, it came you know? in a pack. I stole this hat from my mom. Oh. This hat was sent. My Joe Coy sent my mom a whole big thing, and this yeah. came in it. And she's got a tiny little lady head. And yeah. I'm going there, and she doesn't like hats, so she gave it to me. So nice. I can't say that I'm cool enough to get a hat from Joe Coy, but I did get it from my mom. Nice. But it was it's it's all dinged up like that because of shipping. Yeah. Because I like it. I yeah, because it looks yeah. really bad. <laughs> that's all I like. I'm just kidding. Yeah. That looks good. I like we got it. back Dave's from Madison. Dave's got baseball hair right now. Yeah, yeah. He's got Dave's baseball got hair. Baseball player hair. You got the cap, then the hair's like out of the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, it's not a bad yeah. thing. Yeah. It's a good thing. Yeah, good I love thing. it. I, I'm, I'm going to just keep growing it too. I would love just to see, see how, that. How, yeah. how far it goes. Fuck. Right now, I got some hat head. I got to tell you, for everybody giving shit, to the uh, Madison uh, hair surgery thing. This is still just my regular hair. The surgery oh, hasn't kicked in yet. Let's get no some one, context, though. So, no one's yeah. giving you shit. They're they're congratulating you. That's true. On your incredible mane making, of hair, which is making me feel like I wasted a lot of money, right, on surgery <laughs> so, that I desperately need. So it's just the little guys that are coming in. <laughs> things yeah. have changed. Things, things have, have changed. changed. <laughs> just like that. Where did they know. get it from? Back here. Oh, so does yeah. it hurt here and here? It, it's a little painful back here Still? like because it's yeah a little bit like it, it's more like it Throw gives it me the, the goosebumps now like if i could do that we'll do oh that. he was giving himself chills all weekend in madison yeah. oh he was doing yeah. that Ooh. cute shit why because there's something i don't know something because this hair chills. is growing in because they just suck it out and then they put it up here and then they go be a star and then uh <laughs> now it's trying to grow back in be a star. <laughs> so i don't have to have fucking lego hair anymore hopefully what's lego hair it's just mad oh down. Where you go yeah pop it up. <laughs> Yeah. Matted down bullshit. That's I want to be Beatles. able to put it up and get a cool. nice neck tattoo. You're gonna get a what? I'm gonna get a neck tattoo. I think cool. if the hair looks good, Peaky you're gonna blinders. be like Weeble and Veronica mm. Mars. Okay, 
You got to figure this Veronica thing out. I'm figuring it out, bro. It's awesome. <laughs> okay, I love that kind of stuff. Though. I'm on the fourth season now, so that means I've finished three seasons, a movie, and now I'm on season four because that's the order of Vmars, right? You got to start the three <laughs> Mars. How, yeah. how does it feel to not be able to talk about it with anybody though? I talk about that's it with good, everybody. That's a good question. I talk about it with everybody, <laughs> but no one knows what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> What do they call them? I, in other words, I can't go, right, guys? You're like, I don't fucking know. Yeah, exactly. I'm, marshmallows? What do they call them? I'm a marshmallow. Oh, a marshmallow. I'm definitely a marshmallow now. Why That's do they call it, it that? I don't know. There's a couple references in the show where they, <laughs> she says, I'm like a marshmallow, and I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. But Soft, I get the Mars. And, yeah, and we're talking about K-Bells right now. Okay? K-Bells, yeah. K-Bells who plays V-Mars. And um, <laughs> the thing is that I didn't realize now that I'm on season four <laughs> is that season four was made in 2019. Oh, my God. <laughs> So we it. got 30 something year old K Bells. Yeah. When she started, she was just a teenager. I love her. Was Solving she? crimes. Yeah, she was a sophomore in high school. The character, oh, the was, character uh, was, was like a 15 year old kid. But she really? always looked young. Yeah. How old was she? Look that up for a second. I want to know how old she was when she did the first Veronica. There Mars. we go. Uh-huh. Now you're on. Now you're on board. I can't wait till we can afford another camera so we can see where to. Just hold it like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, but it's. um. It's, I love her. Though. Season four is great yeah, because I don't care if you guys don't like this. <laughs> I don't. What? What? No, I'm just like, he's still it's like, guys, season four is pretty cool because that like knows we're not going to be getting. I don't care. He doesn't give a fuck. He's I like the guy it. on the bus that's just talking. You're yeah. Like, okay. All, it's like this, so all three seasons have a different feel, a different vibe. Like what? Um, like when you sing, when you mean? this theme song is always the same, but it's sung by a different singer in a different way. And the, <laughs> the, the look of the show, but the but her attitude in this latest season is great because she's like a, a grizzled adult now who didn't well, give two you fucks sparked about my interest. And, <laughs> and they're swearing now in the season four. They're all saying <gasps> dick and fuck F-word? and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So she was she was 24 years old when it started. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> well, started started in 2004. I mean, 2004, she's and she's born in 1980. So Wait a minute. She was a play, she was playing a a sophomore in high school at 24 years old. Yeah, Makes sense. she looked young. Yeah. Holy crap. Well, do you remember Beverly Hills? Well, I know was Kay Bell's, right? Yeah. What was his I mean, name? The guy. What, what, that, uh, yeah, Luke rest Perry. in peace. Rest in peace, Luke Perry. But Luke Perry looked 42 years old in that show. Luke Perry died. Kristen Bell's 41. Oh. Yeah. Holy Luke Perry crap. Died. Kristen Bell's 41 years old. Mm-hmm. She's doing something right. Dude, have you seen the She's Bad famous. Moms movies? Yeah, Money's the Best Lotion. Have you yeah. ever watched those Bad Mom movies? Well, no. Is she in those? She's in those too. We, She's funny. We oh, Remember when we left? We walked out we of walked bad, out the bad. first Bad Moms but, movie. But then we went back and we, Dalia told us to Give keep it a shot. watching. I never they're did. They're funny, man. It's pretty good. I never I like went them. back and watched it. I, I did. I, it here's the good. thing that killed me about that movie in the when I first tried. Yeah. Don't say the title of the movie so many fucking times in the first 10 minutes we of the movie. We took off. We took off in like 15 Dude, minutes. Dude, they just kept Bad Moms. Bad Moms. This movie's called Bad Moms, so we're going to say Bad Moms. It just, yeah. <laughs> it just felt like that. Here's where so you I was like, guess what? Bad Moms is a bad movie. So I walked out. And I guess I'm the bad guy for doing it because apparently <laughs> Bad Moms is a movie about good moms. And it's a good movie. Guys, guys. Brent, oh, I'm still by himself on the bus. Brent and Will, I've grown up with him. You just have to let him go. Just, yeah. He'll run out of gas. Uh, yeah. He'll run out of gas. Yeah. It wasn't wrong, though. It did get really good, the movie. I, I'll watch I, it. I went I'll back watch. and watched it. Wasn't there like watch three of them for, now? Watch it for uh, Jessica Hahn. Is that her name? Oh, oh, oh. I know who you're talking about. The girl from uh, Step Brothers and shit? Chris, the girl from... Uh, vi- uh, WandaVision. Can I? Can I also? Nerd. Don't ever do those hand motions. Yeah. <laughs> what, what did actually, I from WandaVision. <laughs> actually, what we're getting at here is, I know who you're talking about. She, she, Dude, she was great. in. But uh, she was amazing in Step Brothers. Yeah, though, yeah, right? yeah. She was so she, funny. Step Brothers. Stay gold, pony boy. And then she is goes that up where to she the, was the, the, the urinal and just puts yeah. her leg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so she's in Bad Moms. Catherine Hahn. Catherine. Catherine. Well, we both. Jessica Hahn is weird. Who's Jessica Hahn? Is like one of the presidents. That's right. She was one of those. Like, like one of those. Yeah. Like a. Yeah. Who was that? Jessica Hahn fucked one of the. Yeah. Jessica Hahn had something to do with Bill Clinton. I think. Was she the one that was with Kennison? I don't know. Wasn't. Like, no, that's a different. Is it? You know what's crazy though? Our producer has a laptop. <laughs> and I think Google. <laughs> you guys are talking so fast, I can't even keep up with what to Google. Jessica Hahn. I think one of those. Yeah, fucked one of those ended up with. Apparently, one of those girls ended up with dating Sam Kinison. Right. Jessica Hahn is a model. Oh, but I'm looking up. I'm yes, gonna... that's the one. She she ended up with Kinnison. Oh, right. you know what they should put on those things when they put that Jessica Hahn as a model. They should put in parentheses yeah, when it says Jessica Hahn is a model. In parentheses, it should say, "But this isn't what she's famous for." Right. <laughs> <laughs> like nobody thinks you know that famous model Jessica Hahn. No right. one says that. Right. Seriously. Remember that chick that fucked the president mm-hmm. <laughs> and then ended up with Kinnison? Yeah, it's kind of dope. Yeah. 
Yep, yeah, yep, yep. But yeah, that's what I've been doing with time. Catching up on the Every time I call you, you're watching B Mars. I'm going to start watching comforting it. about it. That's I love I those that. kinds of shows. Yeah. There's a familiar familiarity. I don't feel so creepy now, by the way. What, what do you mean? Well, knowing that she was 24. Oh, oh I, mean, yeah. I was literally like, why Stop, would you Jason. feel creepy though? What's she's wrong with playing the... a she's playing a, a, a sophomore. She looks amazing. Okay. Oh, not, she, okay. Oh. Maybe I was a little attracted to her. Okay, David. <laughs> uh, okay. But um, right, right, right. Now that I'm, I know I'm like, okay, she was 24. Good, 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 mm -hmm. good, good. But you could, but there's, she, there's a maturity level with K Bells at that time <laughs> that I was like, okay, I get it, K, because she's very quick. I want and you funny to meet her now. I, I hang out with too many. Right I know too many fitness guys who are all fitness, and every time you say K Bells, all I think is kettlebells. All right, because well, that's what I'm the not, douche you guys. You hang out it. with a lot of fitness guys, like the martial arts guys when they <laughs> oh, train. Okay. It's always K Bells, kettlebells, K Bells. Yeah. I'm not a piece Which, of shit. You know what's that? What's that I'm conversation like? Mm -hmm. K Bells? No, no, but like fitness guys. Yeah, what do you guys talk about? No, 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 fitness martial arts. Oh, yeah, like the reason why we did kettlebells is for, or at least for me, it was so that my grip would be real strong in jujitsu. Yeah, kettlebells. What are those yeah, things, yeah, those yeah. like those stress ball, or not a stress ball? That's a stress the grip. ball. The grip thing. That's the same thing. They I could guess. sell that. They sell that for like you could do like a hundred and fifty pound one. I remember right? seeing a dude well, walking down the street doing doing one in each hand, going. Da, 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 da. And I thought I could do that. Oh, oh yeah, fuck. they're hard. Oh, fuck me. But the cool thing about the kettlebells is that you, it's a, you, it's they're heavy pieces of metal, and you have to have a constant super tight grip. Or it's going to fly through your window. You know what I mean? So, so that's what Brent, makes your grip. Let's not use your kettlebells. <laughs> yeah. I don't do that kind of workout with a kettlebell. kettlebells. I just go, ooh, 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 ooh. yeah. yeah. Like, what, what kind of workout are you doing where you could throw through a window? You're doing this. Oh, dude, right. I do all oh, those. Oh, there's swings. There's the one where you go like that. There's, yeah, I don't uh, do that. There's the switches where you can go like, yeah, there's yeah, all I'm kinds not of playing with yeah. that. Dude, uh, but I'm telling you, house. you'd like it. One, because it's I fun. Do this, I do and this two, it's your whole body. I do this thing. That's the oh bread my and God, butter. I want to see. Opinion. I want to see Brent working out. Yeah. So you swing it way up here like that. Am I not supposed to? <laughs> I mean, you can. But the basic, the basic. Brent is so all over the place when he works out. I've, I've gone to the <laughs> when we've been on the road. We, I'm like, yeah, let's hit the gym. And I, he, I mean, I'm I'm doing three sets on one. He's pacing and going over there and going over there. <laughs> I try to and switch. <laughs> I mean, I think I feel, it looks like he's pissed off. Yeah. I get I really it. into it. I love when I the, are you one of the old like guys this. that uses the, <laughs> yes. you use the machines the way they're not supposed to be used. Oh yeah, the old guys that do that shit are so funny. There's some funny accounts on Instagram with that that are just that. Yeah, what do they call like gym fails or something like Probably, that? Probably yeah. And it's always oh, oh, what has gotten into this guy's head. Some of them are like, oh, they set that up. They're, no one's gonna be that fucking weird. Yeah, you know. But yeah. I have my buddy Mike, my Mike at the car, Mike Craig, big fitness guy, mm -hmm. and. uh he was doing a workout. I remember this is, I think I was in high school and he was like, Hey, can you spot me? And he was doing, I think just these with like the wires. Oh. And I didn't know what he meant and how to spot him. So I was just holding his waist. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and intimate. He finished, he finished the workout. Were you in front workout. of him or behind him? I was behind him <laughs> holding his waist. And, <laughs> and then he finishes it and he goes, okay, well, you can let go of my waist now. He didn't fucking do anything. <laughs> I, wa I wanted you to be facing him, <laughs> just this close. But he wanted to, it, it's the one with the, the with the cords and shit. Yeah, the cords, but to? he also it's, had he had, like, on, elbows, he had a weight belt on elbows. too. You, you spot? Know? How do you spot him though? Like, I, I didn't elbows, know, dude. The elbows, yeah. I think mm. it was the yeah. like mm. so you can get because he was doing a lot Here's of weight. I, I just do. held you, his. You, I held his. Here's how you spot him. You spot. You take one hand on his stomach like this, and then one hand. Wait a second. But I literally am just sitting at the gym, like holding his That's little so waist. Funny, dude. Because <laughs> I didn't weird. know what he meant. He goes, "Spot, spot me. me." I'm like, "Yeah, gotcha." Um, I would have yeah. just gone. There you are. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's different with their exercises, but the kettlebell one is the one that's. That's the only one that I've ever done that I'm like, "This is good. This makes sense," and I'm satisfied with it. And it was Hajar uh, Defreitas. Oh, that our... he got certified in this. Uh, Russian kettlebell system where you and he, and he showed it all to me and he, we would train and train and I'm like this is awesome because you could literally have a kettlebell in your car with you and if you're somewhere and you want to get it quick because the one you do this two hand yeah. swing that to me that's like the bread and butter like that that one if you could just do a set of 20 of those every day you'd you'd see results like that also hmm. just wherever you are you're just pumping but gas you, just but you have to kettlebells. Do a, dude i've seen people do that <laughs> wow that's weird. yeah but you have to have it, there's a whole that's not just swinging it around there's yeah form, my, there's stuff with your shoulders your hips and all that stuff my little brother's 
kettlebells because he was doing yeah. that CrossFit stuff and all that yeah. crap. I did some kettle, long kettlebell ago. stuff with some CrossFit. The, they didn't have the quite the, the, the that Russian kettlebell system is where it started and mm. just the way they do it. And maybe it's too, I don't know, maybe it's because it's not fancy enough. People aren't like, I don't want to do that. About you know? two weeks ago, I, I took a walk around the block. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing the results, guys. You know, we can eat Try too bad in Bugsy. Madison. Try walking Dude. Bugsy. I can't even imagine. Oh, yeah. That. It's like I'm, <laughs> really? I'm pulling in the Marlin. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> a little gorilla we bat. Did, we didn't do too bad in, in we did. We did okay. Where I got, we got a shit ton of steps in. Mm-hmm. And in Vegas, I got, a, I mean, I was getting like 17,000 a day. Yeah. But we had a lot of steps in Madison. We did well in Madison. You know I, came I can't back stand okay. seeing people work out. I don't mind if you're working out at the beach. Don't mind if you're working out at the uh, park. Don't mind. It. I don't want to see you working out in the airport. I don't want you to see does you that? So many people stretch, really? do yoga, push ups. See, I don't travel a lot. Really? I, I never mean, seen people oh, work out. They were doing it in Madison. I'm like, all right, dude. Really? Be fucking a yogi. You know what I mean? <laughs> Those guys. <laughs> Just <I'm> a yogi. <laughs> oh, there's more hard time. Oh, and then I understand. I'm going, oh, fuck my back. But like, all of a sudden, you're like doing these stances. Yeah. Honestly, there's a lot of things I don't like. Leg stretches in front of everybody. Like, just we had a lot of. We had I a mean, lot so of, fucking, so, so flexible. Yeah, it's still I have the tight with the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like trying to read the paper. There's balls around. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that shit, dude? That's weird. Oh, shit. Uh, you hear people breathe. You're like, come on, man. We get it. So, Dave, mm. my brother's a newlywed. Mm. Yeah, over a year. <laughs> <laughs> Worst sixty minutes ever. Yeah. Good night. Good night, guys. David, <laughs> David's uh, newly wed. <laughs> Don't even know your twin brother. I want to know how. David, how you... you got a wife, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> how is that working out? Great. I love it. Yeah. I love it, man. You know who yeah. I feel, you know who I feel really bad for? Your wife. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I do. She you know patience. that I. This is a true story. David knows this. When before they were going to get married, and they let me know they were going to do it. I took pulled her aside and I said, you, you do know what you're getting into, right? Oh. Really? You know what you're signing That's up for. That's serious, dude. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, because we've talked about it. Yeah. You and I have talked about it. Yeah. yeah. I have oh, all the stuff. Like, I got all the head in. shit. I yeah, got all yeah. the heads. She's but like, I'm, I'm in. Uh, and I'm like, all right. right. We're loons. But then my life changed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little, little, I've always been a pothead, but lately, uh, in the last two years, I've been more into it. Yeah. And ever since that, that's when I started being more creative more productive you know what i mean i felt healthier Mm -hmm. like i wanted this has a bad rap because people think all right yeah 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 all right no i when i was smoking and it was both indica and sativa when i started doing it regularly i wanted to get up and do things i wanted to create i wanted to do stuff you know and it had been years since that because i went through a depression and all that shit but yeah man you know he's and speaking of creating he's that's david's the reason that our all our channels have got a new look. Yeah. Lines in it's YouTube true. channel's got a new yeah. look. My YouTube channel's got a new look. The Clips channel. And, I enjoy it. And yeah. Well, I, I was on his yesterday. On oh, yes. Yeah, Jason Kong. So I got to hang out with Bugsy, which was cool. Nice. I mean, wouldn't get out of his penis. Bugsy was just right here the whole time. <laughs> he's a real crotch he's a, hound. He's a crotch hound big time. <laughs> and that Carlin bit. Yeah. We talked about Carlin yeah. on my, my channel. Really? And yeah. He's a real crotch hound. Oh, he smells my dog. Remember George? Yeah, yeah. No, no, he doesn't. Not what he, smells. <laughs> <laughs> he says his dog would, whenever a dog goes to, the, to sniff, and the girl goes, Oh my God, he smells my dog. And Josh Carlin goes, Nah, it's not like that. <laughs> He's he a real so crotch hound. <laughs> I was trying to get my dad to try uh, just for his, like golf injuries, some CBD, you know, mm. stuff like that, instead of just taking fucking Tylenol and Advil oh, all day. What are they? You know, it's works. so bad for your lev- liver. I thought they were here. Where are they? Oh, no, they left. Oh. I kicked them out. Yeah, they're gone. They're right. gone. They left when we went to Madison. Yeah. And I came back, and my mom gave me Swiffer Jet uh, oh, yeah. replacements she, and uh, something good, for my Roomba. Good purchase on her part. Oh, yeah. Now, if we could just figure out the cobwebs. Yeah, and on top of that, was I a little pissed off when the AC was on when I got home? Yeah, 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 a little bit. Yeah, but then you realized <laughs> they that they didn't, they didn't know, know how to how work, it. work yeah. it. So it's not their fault. Wouldn't yeah. know how to work what? The nest. It's He's got this thing. That it's yeah, they don't all know that technology. This nest thing. And There's not like one power button? Yeah, there is. David. There's not like. I mean, technically, I could just have it on my phone, right? And that. then control it. Yeah. See, but I don't know how to do that. That's why I can't get mad at them. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Will? <laughs> it's just, no one knows how to work. It's funny. Like, it's I just, might, if I was here long enough, I could figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just like the fireplace, I figured that one out. 
What? What's wrong? What you mean? Mean? Because you guys didn't know how to use a fireplace. Oh, that that wasn't me. <laughs> fireplace <laughs> blew up. Oh. I'm like, how do you use a fire? You put a fire in it. What do you yeah, mean? But put a fire in it. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> when he does that. Ow, 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 ow. <coughs> Rona, Rona, Rona. It's all right. David's got one, one, one shot. Yeah. And he's I gotta, still got to get a I'm shot. I'm half-axed. You know you could just go get him now, right? I'm a little concerned that if I got uh, corona in Madison and then I get the shot, I'll die. Is that a thing that happens? Well, though? they test you I've first. never heard that. What they test you first? They're I don't not know gonna... if they do test you first because I when they I got a shot they did not. They test ask first. you though because they told him he was like I have it and they're like can I get a shot and they're like no if we give you a well, shot they didn't have, uh, they, I was in the hospital die. though oh. like I was in oh, the hospital well, yeah. with coronavirus and I'm like well can I get the vaccine and he just the doctor looked at me like I was a fucking idiot you know, <laughs> you know yeah. that'd kill you right <laughs> yeah. I don't know that sir you're the doctor I'm not I'm the comedian <laughs> yeah I'm the comedian yeah I actually don't believe that ever I don't think you have it I don't think it I don't believe in it dude. Even well, though I had it, well, it's not believe in Santa what? Claus. Yeah, you know believe what though? What? Santa's real, and Santa's I'm sick real. of this shit from all you people. <laughs> Santa's a real person. I've seen him. Yeah, he touched me when I was a child. Wait a minute, Wait, <laughs> at the mall? Was it at a mall? <laughs> no, it was in my bedroom, at like three. Why the worse? When he brings toys, at the, you know, he touches your pee pee. Does you he get a reward? When he brings the toys, come on, like you guys he... didn't have Santa touch your penis when you were six. Right, we need to talk about this <laughs> off the air, man. It's, we got to. <laughs> we'll do it on Patreon. Yeah, yeah. Right? Brent's you found station. out I was molested right. by a, a mall Santa. <laughs> These toys require batteries, and was he playing with them then and there at the mall? Oh, only my <laughs> asshole. But wait a second. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, Brent had his first weekend of stand up in over oh, a dude. year. Oh, we did, we so did, good. Uh, it was dope. Madison. We did comedy on state in Madison, Wisconsin, by the way. So good. Thank you to all of them, the owners. The Were staff, you depressed too? Everybody, because I, I was talking to him, he was sad too when we left. I, I didn't want to leave. leave. I but talked it. to the bartender, Stu, about it. I said, I, I wish we'd have done a Sunday. And you know what he said? I told you what he said. No. He goes, oh no no! When you guys come, we we can't do a Sunday. And I'm like, why? They're, he's like, we need a day to like, chill, <laughs> recover, because we all just have so much fun. Yeah, I guess they don't fun. do that a lot. I I I just assume that's how they What's treat everybody. Yeah. Stu, yeah, he's the best. Oh, that's a dope name for a bartender. Great airline he, too. Well, he's like, no, we need that. We need that Sunday to just chill when, <laughs> when you guys are here. Like, wow, okay, because we did a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and I think we went out and. Had some fun pretty oh, much every we, night. Every night, yeah. I, I got in trouble for smoking around. a cigar indoors. You guys remember that? Oh no, I don't remember that. Yeah, remember we had the cigars. Yeah, and then we went into that other bar, oh, and I just yeah. walked in puffing on a cigar like I'm a fucking rich asshole. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. right. Oh jeez. <laughs> and then I, and I was a little bit drunk, so that people were like, "You I can't have the cigar in here," and it was like, "Well, okay." <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like and he's then, and Michael then Jordan Eve, over here. one of the owners looks at me. She goes, "You're embarrassing me." <laughs> <laughs> Because they, one of the staff comes up and goes, "Draw." This is what pissed me off. After I, he, this guy's lucky. I was a little bit drunk. <laughs> this guy came and took the cigar from me. He goes, "I'll take that for you. Take it outside." And I'm like, "All right." And drunk me was like, "Oh, maybe he's just gonna save it for me." But no, now I'm like, "Oh, that guy just stole my cigar and took wow. it outside and threw it away." Uh, Ask me to go outside with it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, it wasn't yeah, yeah. a cheap cigar. It was like a forty thousand dollar cigar. <laughs> well, that's. <laughs> Forty thousand. Wasn't that how much it was? It was about forty grand. It was about forty thousand dollars cigar. Yeah. No, it was not a cheap. Can you cigar. drive it? We got, no. we got. Was it a Fuente? It was an Arturo Fuente, yeah, right? Arturo Fuente. Which is they're okay. They're they're mid mid range price, but still, what he should have said is like, "Yo, finish. If you want to finish your cigar, yeah, go outside. Take it outside." Yeah, and you I don't went, touch oh my shit, things. you're right. He went like this. I got that, and then walked out, mm. and then I never saw the cigar again. Was that uh, before or after some girl walked up to me with shrooms and I ate one of them? Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> I didn't even know that happened until after. Oh, that was before. That was that before. Happened. What that went, was was yeah, downstairs. Sure. Yeah, I don't fucking like myself, so I'll have whatever you guys have. <laughs> wow. That's a trust right there. And then we had to uh, we had to be like, we're not doing anything else. Yeah, we gotta yeah, yeah. Go. We gotta You're go. like, Brent, we're leaving. And Brent, I went, wow, come on. Because Brent got just... into Brent Ask Me Twice mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was I'm like, getting into the We got to go. Twice. And guess how many times I said we had to go? Many. Twice. Twice. <laughs> you said like, yes on the second time. Yeah. Well, no. So come on. Those right. of you who know that bit, it's it's not made up. It's, it's real. real. But, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, some lady walking around and... with a paper towel of mushrooms, just like here, and I go, yeah, sure, yeah. okay, it's a fucking six. It wasn't. I mean, I, even on a paper a towel. Of the... Oh, she was. Yeah. Oh, see, I didn't even know that. Yeah. I don't know what the hell I was. Oh, she was thinking. a fan then, so she wouldn't. No, she was a friend of the owners. Oh, so she was. And I've only done mushrooms once before, so that was a really stupid thing to do when you have a nine a.m. flight. How'd that work out? It just made me hungry and laughy. Oh, so it wasn't like, yeah, Whoa, I didn't man. <laughs> what are you laughing just at? Just hungry and laughy. You weren't like, <laughs> you weren't like seeing the Easter Bunny in your hotel room or anything no, like that? No, no. But it's like, I did what mushrooms at Disneyland once. Oh, boy. Whoa. Didn't, didn't feel shit. Oh, really? No. 
I mean, Disneyland's already a goddamn mushroom trip, so you're just like, this is yeah. all the same. Oh, but much. last, I I'm, just went to Disney recently. Did you guys know that? No. Oh, that's right. It's open again. Well, because I have the spouse yeah. card. My wife works there. And so they have previews for cast members and, and their spouses. So and you got so, to go with, so was it empty? Well, no, it was, but only people in there. It wasn't like crazy crowded lines like right. before. And, and But the only people in there were employees, or sorry, cast members and yeah. their families. <laughs> and um, yeah, they don't wear, they're not employees, they're cast members. They yeah. do not wear uniforms. They wear costumes. Cool. Yep. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, so I got to go to the preview, which is cool. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> Neato, Dave. <laughs> yeah. But I did that, my, my wife and I did that very high and it was so fun, man. I can't even imagine going on small world on mushrooms. Uh, I can't imagine going on small Crying. world sober. Crying? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, a, it's a world of laughter. World. <laughs> it's a small world after all. <laughs> <laughs> at, least like the, at least like the people animatronics kind of move smooth and real now. Right? Oh, Whereas that's even more terrible. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. The they're not doing this anymore. Welcome to a small world. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're in different languages. And you know what yeah, I don't don't know about also what I don't like about small world too is if you look up, it's a drop ceiling. You're like, I'm in a small world. Then you look up, oh, I'm in an office. It's oh, yeah. like a drop oh, I'm in Costco. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it's a trip. <laughs> it's older, right? There. Fix that, you know? I don't like Who smooth cares? robots. Get rid of it. Why do we have to make also, them smoother? Band name. You know? Smooth robots. Smooth robots. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. Smooth Bowley opening for smooth robots. <laughs> I love it. But the second they started not putting jolts in them, you <laughs> oh, know you what I mean? See, have you That's gone? a little weird to me. I don't need to think somebody's right. human. When hey, they how, and kid. they always move a little bit too smooth. Hi, yeah. welcome to the Star Wars ride. <laughs> they brought this character from hey. an animated series in there. <laughs> in the, in the Falcon one where you're kind of, because that's what they do now. They make the cue part of it and it's entertaining just being that's, in line. Those of you don't know what he means by cue, that's the line. <laughs> the way. Oh, yeah, I didn't know you're British. I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's what they call it. Wait on the cue. Cue it up. But anyway, they have this guy up there from the animated series and he's, but he's looks real, but it, it's animatronic. It's unbelievable. Animals just a animated series of what? They move like, they, like you know, uh, Star Wars stuff? Yeah, uh, uh, Clone Wars and all that shit. Right. But yeah, yeah, and he moves real smooth and it looks normal. It looks real. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's cool. That's how it was with the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Where? Rocky Raccoon was. Oh, in the beginning. Raccoon. <laughs> Rocket. <laughs> Rocket Raccoon was Rocket. in, the, in, the, in that Raccoon. office and he walking around the it was edge. Bradley. Of the... What's his name? Oh, Bradley Cooper. Cooper. Yeah. Yeah. Never remembers Rocky name. Raccoon. Rocket Raccoon. Rocket Rocky Ra Raccoon Sorry. is a song by Paul McCartney and from the, the White Album. Okay, dork. Um, <laughs> way up are in you the Black Mountain Bad Hills. Batch? Did you already watch Bad Batch? What's Bad Batch? No. It's out. Yeah. You're not interested? I am. I'm I waiting pee. more for other stuff, though. What's Bad Batch? It's a new animated Star Wars series on Disney. If you know Plus. anything about the, like, if you're a fan of Star Wars, they did those prequel movies, you know, and the, yeah. the, Clone Wars and all that shit. Right. And in the and from that they had these great the movies sucked, but they had these great spin-off animated series. Yeah, you thought yeah. You yeah, mentioned how good they are. Right. He it done by the guy who's doing uh, one of the guys who's doing the Mandalorian now. And anyway, the Woman DeLorean. Yeah. <laughs> they have these Woke. these uh the clone troopers, you know? You ever heard of that? The, yeah, uh, I know vaguely. And it's they had like all these squadrons and there's this one group of badasses that they call them the bad bad. The reviews oh. are phenomenal oh there it is yeah look at that yeah 9.2 out of 10 hoping, on imdb wow there's one coming out that i'm hoping is live action though i really want it to be live action and it's called the uh it's called squad oh crap i can't remember what it's about is it rangers of the new republic that's what it's called wow. called rangers of the new republic so the darth vader era empire falls right yeah okay, right? It is. and then there are all these all this time between the Empire Falling and then the new movies. Hmm. And there's a part, you know how they always talk about like the Outer Rim and all that stuff in I Star Wars? I think it might like, be live action. Like the planets that are out far out in so, there. And he, uh, the, basically what this show is, it's these X-Wing fighter pilots who are now tasked with being basically... Uh, We're having a little preview uh, of the escape pod right now. Patrolling oh, the Outer nice. Rim. It's basically cops. Each episode is Rangers just the new Republic. Yeah, so it's going to be after Return of the Jedi before mm -hmm. the new one. Right, got it. It might be live because if it is the, like the it. if the character Ashoka Ashoka is that her name? That's who. Uh, uh, That's Rosario Dawson. Yeah, dude. So and I've been seeing her posting things where she's in the makeup and stuff. Right. She did a she did the Mandalorian. Remember? Right. Yeah. She was I'm in the wondering if she's going to have part. I hope so. Part of her spin. Oh no, they are. 
That, duh, they are because she, they're all gonna, and they're all gonna um, interweave because there's gonna be, if you remember the end of the, uh, the second series of Mandalorian, mm -hmm. or second season, it showed that thing with him, right? Boba Fett on that sitting in that thing, and it's called the uh, Book of Boba Fett, right? Book of Boba. That's gonna Fett. be a live action series. I can't wait. And it's gonna be intertwined with the Mandalorian and Ashoka will be in there. Oh, wow. does Ashoka know that there's a fucking show named after him now? I know, right? I said that, and I was like, that has to be wrong. But I'm looking at it. A H. It's Ahsoka. 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 Oh, we're Ahsoka. We we've switched the H and the S on accident. Sorry, it's not Ahsoka. Dyslexia. It's Ahsoka. It's Ahsoka. So close though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, her character. He should dress as her for Halloween. They're doing like Marvel, and they're coming out with all these great strong female characters, I guess. But she's cool because she is one of the few that has two lightsabers, and she like does with both of them. She kicks asshole. Yeah, she kicks asshole, dude. So cute. How much you love that. Oh man, I so love it. It is adorable. That's why it I like. Adorable. That's why I'm glad he's got his own show called The Escape Pod, where mm -hmm. he can just talk about nerd out stuff, for right? a half an hour on yep. that shit. Right now, I'm heavily into Marvel though. Yeah. Marvel right now is my main shit because I'm, ex I'm excited. Because of Disney about Plus. Of that's because Disney Plus took me down a Marvel. Have you watched wormhole. any of the episodes of Falcon no. and Winter Soldier? No. no. That's is why when people talk Have about you seen it, the Fal no. I don't really watch it. every what? episode. Is a freaking movie, right? Everyone, and it's really? got these incredible action scenes and special effects, and it's just like watching a Marvel movie every week. My brother Wyatt and I Russell's get the too, question right? of, "Are you guys alike in every way?" This is one of the things where we're not really. Like, I started trying to watch all the Marvel movies. I remember, we and I got about all it. the yeah, way. To, right. They're great movies. They're yeah. fucking amazing movies. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but I'm not like, whoa! I can't wait to watch the next one. I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, like I don't. I'm at Black Panther right now, which is one of the fucking best ones. Mm -hmm. And I've just, when I went on the road, I was just like, eh, I'm good. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, Black Panther. Goes, the best ones are right after each other. The two, my two. No, I shouldn't say the best Rang ones. Rang but my Dindor. favorite ones Ra are Ragnar Ragnar. No, that one was good too. Though, but I like. Uh, <laughs> How can I one ticket for Ragnar Ragnar? Yeah, yeah. Rock and that Daggers. Reminds me rock and Daggers. One. No, Ragnar Rock. But that always reminds me of when we went to see a movie and there was this cholo couple in front of us. The dude was all gangstered out, and it was at, it was back when that movie Romeo Must Die came out. Yeah. yeah, and he went up to the window. No shit, I just lost. I was laughing so hard, I felt bad. He go, I was like trying to act like I was laughing at my date or something. But yeah. he goes, "Yeah, can I get two for uh, Romeo Gotta Die?" <laughs> <laughs> lost my shit. It was so funny. <laughs> Romeo Gotta Die. <laughs> Romeo Gotta Die. That's hilarious. Oh, That's yeah, really shit funny. Was funny. So like rocket. he had to hit on him. Hey, Romeo Gotta Die. I'm gonna go in this movie and fucking kill him. <laughs> But um, I don't know why I brought that up. I like that, but, Oh, because he was at the ticket thing, Ragnarok. Oh, no. Okay, so the two best ones. Uh, no, I shouldn't say that. My two favorite ones are go. Captain America Civil War. Ragnarok. Huh. Which is you, because that's the first time you see Black Panther. Mm -hmm. And it's the first time that you see Spider-Man in the MCU. Right? Yeah, the MCU. Yeah. Oh, the Marvel yeah, the Cinematic, Cinematic Universe. Universe. Oh, because you remember, Cinematic. there's oh. there's there's contractual things going on. Like yeah. Spider Man is still he's swinging back and forth. Get it? Was it? Sw <laughs> Get it? Nice, nice. Yeah, he's swinging back. Now, and who swinging. are the, what are the two companies? Sony, okay. Sony and oh, that's Marvel right, because the Spider Man. Sony and Marvel yeah. Studios Marvel kind Studios, of both yeah. both have. There's this yeah, and and they do there and and with the Spider Man stuff they're doing. If you watch them, they they show both logos in the beginning. You know, it's not just Marvel Studios. Wow. Yeah. Now, what? Here's the camp coolest is, thing about. Real okay. quick, what camp is uh, Fantastic Four in? The other one. Sony. Actually, but recently I read that Fade, who is the head of Disney, right? And he is that him? Anyway, the guy who's in charge of all that shit now, he uh, acquired all Marvel stuff now. So we're gonna be okay. all, we're yeah. gonna be okay, guys. We're gonna be okay. But here's what's amazing about the thing, and this is you should get into this. There's not one role for me. Well. Yeah, there's several. It's always about you, isn't it? Dude, if Topher I Grace, play Robin, <laughs> Topher Grace, that's yeah. DC. if he could oh. play Venom, yeah, that's true. You know? And I could play anything. Yeah, but um, he, it's good but hairline, though. you know how? Uh, what? 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 what it's, <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> real quick. <laughs> Topher played Venom. Who was the guy? What about the guy? Oh, you're talking about Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy played him. Well, yeah, but in Spider-Man three or two is where Topher played Venom. So now right? those two things just completely separate from each other. Kinda. It, it, I was getting to that. Okay. It, yes. Yeah. Yes, when they were all first being done, yes, right? The MCU is when they decided we're going to all make this canon and it's going to all fit together and blah, 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 blah. And that's why they have Tom Holland as Spider-Man. Yeah. Now, the cool thing, though, about coming from Marvel Comics is the whole multiverse. 
That's a thing in the com comics. There's a multiverse. And, and everything you see in the MCU, I think they say it's from Earth number. It's like Earth 316. I don't know. I don't, see, I don't read the comics and that much. That's where you lose me. But that's what's cool, though, because in the Is new... It? In the new so Spider-Man movie, smooth. Yeah, I know, such an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> in the okay, so it was Spider-Man: Homecoming. Mm -hmm. Then it was Spider-Man: Far From Home. The yeah. next one is Spider-Man: No Way Home. Mm -hmm. And Spider-Man: Lost in the Woods. Is the next one. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have a home in it. Spider-Man: Home. Listen alone. to this. <laughs> There's a Latino one coming out called Sp Spider-Man: Orale Home. <laughs> <laughs> I always said that I wanted to, I wanted to build my own housing community called Orale Homes. Oh my god! Anyway, Sorry, it's where do you guys live? I live over in Orale Home. Um, but uh, stand up. Uh, what's his name? Tom Holland. No, Hardy. Toby Maguire. Toby Maguire. We were both. And then that up. other British actor, that other British actor kid with the dark hair that played Spider Man for a second. Oh, Andrew Garfield. Oh. Him. Okay, both of those guys have been spotted in uniform on the set of the new Spider-Man movie. Really? Multiverse. They're di it's have you, did Whoa. you see Spider Spider-Verse? I some of it. Do you what notice how there are different Spider Spider-Man heroes from different oh, the Dude, there's some genius realities. writers going, we got to figure how to get all of this yeah, together. and that's and what it just... looks like it's doing. They're going to use that, wow. and they're, so those that's guys cool actually. Like, it is. different actors who played them. That's oh, kind of yeah. dope. I've yeah. seen pictures where they're all standing there and it's Whoa. Holland, Maguire and Garfield. Garfield. They're all standing and they got the their The cat's going to be in it? Holy yeah, shit. dude, the cat's going to be a weird-looking Spider-Man. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's going to just eat pizza. Um, <laughs> just but yeah, so that's, that, that's kind of a thing they're doing, which is dope because... <clears throat> COVID. Because there's so <laughs> much... There's so many amazing Marvel characters out there that aren't in the MCU yet that can be, mm -hmm. like the Fantastic Four. You know, like, oh, yeah, uh, they're all together. This, all, this is fake. These, these well, are when, all Photoshop. Uh, and here's the thing, though. When you get those heroes, you get all the dope villains that come along with them. That's right. why I couldn't wait for Spider-Man to be in the MCU. Because mm -hmm. now we get to see Sandman, even though we saw him in those other movies. But, you know, and then the other one was the the lizard. I don't remember what he was. The big lizard guy. Oh, fuck. Right, right, right. I remember what you're talking about. But the rhino. There's, a, there's a guy. He's oh, weird. yeah. He's a rhino. Doc Ock. Dr. Octopus. Um. Goblins, God. the Green Goblin, Green Goblin, and Hobgoblin. <laughs> Those are two different. Yeah. Yep. Hobgoblin. Yeah, yeah, like Green Goblin rides around on that little thing, and he's a goblin with a, you know, and he's, he's got and shit. But Hobgoblin looks like a, it's like him on steroids and shit. Like he's and a that's bigger, the one crazy. That's the one where William Defoe, Willem, Willem Defoe, Willem Defoe and James Willem. Franco. Yeah. Father, son. One was Hobby and one was Greeny, right? No. Uh, uh, yeah, I didn't think so. I was just testing uh, you on that. One, so. I don't think so. so the but that lazy but, producer, but, Hobby Greeny. Come on, our yeah, buddy yeah, yeah. Jay, our buddy that we grew up with, Ramon. Uh huh. He knows all that shit. Oh, like, and when I lose things, I call him. I go, dude. It's because he's a dork. Who dude. is? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow! I mean, I'm excited. I'm Marvel like right now. That's what blows my mind. Like that is so overwhelming to me. Like yeah. I don't. That makes me I, I go I can't get I can't get invested in it because mm. now I'm gonna have to know and be invested well, in it. And oh, like, okay. Here's what you do: change your mind switch, or switch your mind. <laughs> listen, listen. Here's switch your you mind because I was the mind. same way. I was the same way. Switch your mind and instead of going, wait, what's that from? Look at it and go, oh, hey, that's the cool. How that's from that? You know, what I mean, and, and or, make, or make it I'll fun. just call you, which yeah. I've been doing. Yes, I will pause the movies and go, okay, I'm really fucking confused right now. Like, frustrated. why does the black He's why does the black falcon not black falcon? That's racist. Why does the falcon? By the way, wasn't that what it was originally called back in the day? No. I, I, I could be wrong. No. Um, digging digging but, yourself but everybody I'm did. thinking like Black David, Panther. It was no. called that though, right? No. No, not but at all. But everybody did. I'm whoops, not whoops, 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 but whoops. You know, it's cool. Everybody did though. And in the show, Falcon and Winter Soldier, they make a thing about it. He's Aren't all, it's just black? Falcon. Like the kids I will call him Black Falcon. I called him so annoyed <laughs> that the Falcon had Captain America's shield. Dude, that was badass. But then I saw a picture recently where He's a, dressed like Captain America. He's basically the Falcon and Captain America in one. He's his his suit has the <gasps> you star. See what I mean? His suit has the star. He's right. got the shield and he's got the wings. But the cool thing is they <laughs> oh, sorry, they, they, they they I get see I get all excited. Dude. I funny. love this. It's, but they, it's they, getting me excited. Right? Yeah, I kind of so, want to watch some with him. And every the, th the cool thing is what when you watch these mean, movies, Brad? when you watch the the, the, the <laughs> films and the and all that stuff, and you see the things that happen and then the characters. Yeah. Like for example, in the latest in this Captain America Winter Soldier, they brought up this whole storyline from the 60s and 70s that existed in the comic book and people watching could probably go, 
uh, they're trying to be woke. Here we go again with right. this one. No, dude, this is stuff that that shows that Marvel Comics was so ahead of the game. Yeah, are you when it came when they were to doing the social consciousness? Huh? When they were doing the experiments? Yeah, right. So in in the comic books in the '60s, there were th so okay. So Captain America showed up in the '40s for World War II, mm -hmm. and he was part of an experiment to become a super soldier. And so they did it to him, and it worked. But at first, they just made him like this. They made him like a like Mickey Mouse and shit. Right. Like he would kind of just put him on a USO tour and he would like, buy bonds guys. Hey, I'm Captain America. And like this and that. And he was hating it. So, uh, but then he became Captain America, went up in the plane, you know, fought the Red Skull member and he crashed mm -hmm. in the snow. And then however many years later, 70 years later, I think it yeah. was, they, they dug him up and now he's in, remember he woke up and he was in Manhattan now. Right. Anyway, that, uh, so that happened, right? But well, between... That's, a lot of fucking years between yeah. him going in the ice and coming out of the ice. And there were tons of stories in there. And one of them was they were taking soldiers, African-American soldiers, and um, giving them super serum. But it was like, it was real. It was like real life. They were giving it to them because they were testing it on them so that they can give it to the white soldiers when it's ready. That's some real shit. Right? One of them was, Cap so there was a black Captain America for a minute. Uh, and he 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 was black you know, in america black in america he was you know mistreated they didn't respect him the same mm -hmm. you know what i mean kind of thing and he is in the he, he shows up in the series that's cool when because if you remember did you guys see what's the name of, of the, the falcon and the Winter social series yeah oh that's so cool do you falcon ever see the winter soldier do you okay. ever see the the final uh, do i need to finish all the fucking movies can i just start watching this honestly series? i pick and choose them <laughs> Honestly, nowadays I don't watch them in order anymore. Now, I'm in the a, mood for Spider Man. I'll watch that. Now it's not gonna be a problem for, for me to watch that. Oh, dude. Okay, cool. But I'm in a it, spider mood. It's okay. so good, yeah. Jay. It's so my good. spider moods are tingling. If you guys watched Endgame at the yeah. end, yes. When 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 um Is that this one Cap went back in time, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, you guys are gonna come back at this. Okay, and then oh, I didn't see this Smart one. Hulk was it was right there by no, the lake. I didn't see this one. Okay, and and then they go, Vroom, they did the thing, and he didn't come back. Where is he? He didn't come back. And then all of a sudden, the Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes, goes to <laughs> goes Just to the Falcon names. guy, whose name is uh, ah shit, I can't remember the Falcon's name. Anyway, he goes, hey, and goes like that, and there's this old man sitting on a bench next to the pond with his back to them, and he's got this case next to him. So, Winter Soldier, uh, I'm sorry, Falcon goes up there, and he's like, hey, because remember, Falcon, Falcon is is Captain America's best buddy. Mm -hmm. when he came back right but his best buddy from back bucky. in the day is bucky barnes yeah bucky barnes actually dies or some or thinks he died they think he dies but he gets fucked up and they give him the super serum and not only that they give him like this crazy yeah, that metal crazy arm. arm and the vibranium is the fictional stuff that it's made of and and apparently like wakanda has the biggest yeah, you know supply of that yeah. anyway um so uh he goes over there and it's this old man sitting on the bench and it, and it looks like Captain America though. And he's like, hey, and he goes, hey, what's up? He goes, how you been, man? And I'm like, wow. Because they know there's time travel. They right, were right, just right. doing it together to solve this other shit. And he goes, here, I got something for you. And he gave him the shield and he opened it and it was the shield and he put it on and the cap, the old cap goes, how does that feel? And he goes, it feels like it's somebody, it feels like it belongs to somebody else. And Captain America looked at him and went, but it doesn't. Right? So you're Captain America now. But, that's a huge, those are huge shoes to fill, right? So mm -hmm. he decided, well, I'm going to take this shield and put it where it belongs in a museum, in the Captain America Museum, because they have that. Right. And um, and it was there forever before he even came back from the, was right. anyway, you know, because he was a hero. He's a Jesus. war hero, you know, and his whole team, there, there were comic books about that whole group of guys. It was so cool. But um, so uh, uh, he, he, uh, he puts it away reluctantly. And th that's the whole kind of arc. That's one of the arcs through the whole series. I'm sorry, through the whole season is him deciding if he's worthy or not to be to for the shield. Okay. Uh, and so instead of yeah, I'm gonna skip everything and just watch becoming that. Captain America, <laughs> he just he 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 was still the Falcon and he had his wings right. and shit. But well, in real the quick, mean in between, they bring in this sorry, other guy. Sorry, They're like, America sorry. needs another hero. America needs Cap. <laughs> I was interrupting. I'm sorry. It's okay. America needs Captain America. You know, we need him. Right. right. Yeah. So the government order make a new one mm -hmm. and it's uh what's his name uh wyatt russell right bucky Barnes. is that the, the blonde actor. hair guy the actor is wild russell but what's oh it's walker a... walk john walker hmm. i think that's his name yeah anyway um 
And as soon as I said his name, because I, I research the comics, I read them, but I research them a lot too. I was like, holy shit, that's US so agent. Much free, so much There's time. a character wow. that's like Captain Long America. But you know how Captain America is a Boy Scout? Yeah, can I this be This guy's honest, a vigilante. Think, like, uh, Captain America annoyed me. He's such In a hall monitor. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's he's the like joke. a Dudley Do, right? Yeah. That's it's the joke. That's much. why that's why Loki always makes fun of him and shit. Yeah. Anyway, but this new guy, <laughs> this new guy. He's more rebellious. He's little, yeah, he's a little like not that. all there. Like darker. So he becomes Captain America, but he ends up like brutally killing a guy with the shield in front of cameras. And it's like this whole, Fuck he's yeah. like the, he's Man. like a vigilante. Like that's a an movie? hero. That's a TV right? show, right? That, what is that in? What can I see? Captain, it... Falcon and Winter Soldier. But he becomes what's in the comics referred to as U.S. agent, and he looks like Captain America, oh, but yeah. he's a little bit he's more bad. Up right now, oh yeah, yeah. The dopest thing ever. Look this up I real quick. Chris Evans word. helicopter. This oh, shit he's I'm, holding it. Yeah, that oh, shit was that the dopest. Dope. Shit. He's holding the rail. Yeah, and I went. You notice I know the scene without even looking at it. <laughs> yeah, Jeez, look there it is. And I was like, God damn it, this guy got Just, ripped. Oh whatever. Oh, those arms. Dude, and, and the fight scenes that he's in though. There's a great one when in the one where I said I told they they figured out time travel to go back in time and figure out with the stones and all that, and he runs into himself and he has a fight with himself. Come on, <laughs> it's fucking cool. Dude. What what movie before, is that? In? And Tony Stark, uh, Tony Stark, uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s character, who's dope, always joked with with uh, Captain about look at that ass, man. That's America's ass. You know what I mean? Joked about <laughs> yeah. it. And when Captain America finally beat himself and he was laying there, he was like, he looked down, he was like. That is America's ass. He walked wow. away. So he <laughs> fucked himself up. Now, was this on a movie? Well, here's how he won the fight. You're not answering my question. Because, because in the a movie? fight, yeah. Which it's one? In the game. Okay. Oh, because the I fight, that one. Yeah. the fight takes place before, before um, he goes back in time to the my brain to the first is breaking. No, any, anyway, when he fights himself, this is before the self that he's fighting knew that Bucky was alive again. Okay. Yeah. And that's how he finished the fight. He was the himself was kicking his ass actually and he had him sit, and then when he when he could talk he went bucky's alive and that's what made him let go of himself oh. and, and then he knocked him out and left but oh no he took the because he had the uh <sighs> he had that spear thing with that loki this had. doesn't exhaust you no nah, man it's so exciting to me fuck i'm exhausted <laughs> yeah <laughs> Like that's the, the one of the main differences with us. I'm like, cool, man, but like, can we just? Well, you know, I'm on the Starbucks? autism spectrum. <laughs> that's a, I don't know a if that has anything to do know? with it. But <laughs> what happened? I'm on the autism spectrum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and I yeah. don't know if that because it's like, oh, like, maybe you could process this shit better than us. I was going to say that because I didn't want to say that. Wow, man, this that's is so much. So, David, I'm going to ask you things, and instead of going off into crazy stories, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I do that. Answer. I trail off. So, end game. This is the one where the Hulk is smart. Yes. Captain America fucks himself up. Mm -hmm. The new Captain America with a killing somebody that's in the Falcon series. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let me ask you this. Will I be cool? Will I be okay <laughs> if I just watched Endgame and then went to that series? Oh, am I missing too much? No, but you should probably do it with me. <laughs> <laughs> you might need a guided tour through that. Can I be honest? <laughs> no. That sounds exhausting. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be pausing it. But yeah. Okay, what that. you need yeah, to know. Pause. Okay, well, let me show you something guy. about you. Dude, me and my mom will watch stuff with him, and then we'll be like, right in it, and pause, and we'll just go, okay, okay, and, then, and he explains all the stuff. Yeah. And, dude, it's it's so much, I'm glad you said the spectrum thing, because <laughs> my mom and I will be, in a, I'll go over to so visit, beautiful. my mom and I will be in a full-on conversation. My brother will storm into the room talking about a Marvel movie, and you just literally have to stop and listen and go, ah, oh, yeah. I do, and I catch myself. Like, oh wait, wait, wait! I forgot to give you guys context. Dude, I'm watching this thing, and I. Ha but I'll just go in. But what yeah. he doesn't do is he does the context thing. But what he doesn't do is he, he doesn't go. Oh wait, wait! I forgot you guys don't give a shit about this. <laughs> <laughs> I get like that though too. So <laughs> it's fun. Don't get me wrong; it's really fun. But holy crap! That's you have exhausting. to admit, I lucked out with my wife being as into it yeah. as I am. Yeah. She's oh, that's like, oh, true. Yeah. Right. In fact, like I was telling you, she works at the Disney Resort. And she's, yeah. the ice is going to upset Brent. Sorry, 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 no. sorry, I know that ice thing, you know, the noise. Oh, uh, I'm trying to get it to stop. I hate it. Tell too. me about to put it on top of all the wires. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it too. I hate that dude. Hate that ding, ding, ding. Ding. Uh, Any sounds that just get yeah. me. Oh, my dad. <laughs> Calm down for a minute. You can always tell when my dad was eating cereal in the house. And I used to do that. I was a smart ass. I'd be like, oh, yeah. Dad, you're going to break the bowl. Because <laughs> it was like, right. Dink. <laughs> I mean, he would, and then he would. Time. 
dink scrape, dink scrape to get every really? little piece. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Break it. Drink you... it. <laughs> That's what you do. Is it like a roll boy? Just, uh, oh, dude, those kicks amazing? were good. Honey, that Cheerios. Mm. Kicks. Kicks My dad always made them in life. Fuck out of here. One. <laughs> Where were we? Oh, Vegas. Me and Fucking Jason Catholic Cheney. Crunch. There's a, there's a, ser- there's a, a store in, in Hard Rock. No, Planet Hollywood called Cereal Killer or Killer. No, it's called Killer Cereal. Oh, that's cool. And it's a bunch of old school cereals like Cocoa oh, Puffs and all yeah, that yeah. shit. It has all that. That's Dude, right. the, the, the like Captain Michael Crunch. Scott, Michael Scott in the office was going to open a cereal bar, remember? Oh, uh, yeah. And open a cereal cafe <laughs> and you can just have any kind of cereal you want when you go. <laughs> remember who? Remember Seinfeld always loved cereal. Oh, yeah. He was a yeah. big cereal yeah. guy. He used to eat Me like too. three bowls a day or something like on set, too. Mm. I had to stop buying milk. I, I used to eat a box of cereal every day. Jeez. Cinnamon like, Life. I was obs- obsessed. Cinnamon Life long. was my shite. Um, I was a big fan of, uh, God damn, which one was that one? Oh, Fruit Loops. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Those are Apple Jacks. And, and, and Apple it just scrapes the top of your mouth. Just destroys. Not as bad as Captain yeah, Crunch. Captain, Crunch, Captain too, Crunch was like, yo. oh, okay, my it's mouth It's like the captain was done. in there with swords fucking up the top of my mouth. <laughs> Have you eaten uh, the Honey Graham O's? Dude, yeah. you want to, this is like a, a fatty habit blade. when I was in Just, high school. When Easy Mac came out, get me, I, get I actually Mac. pretended to be sick so I could sit at home and eat Easy Mac. Blah. Wow. <laughs> Blah. When I was so like a funny. sophomore in high school, I was like, I don't feel well. But really, telling... I just wanted all the little cups because I knew my little brother was going to fucking try to get them. Imagine so I was like, I ate around like 10 of them. Telling ditching stories. <laughs> Dude, we ditched and we went to, you know, we went to a Yankee game. Or, you know, one time we ditched and we all went to this cool thing. I ditched and went home and ate Easy I Mac. Just, <laughs> I just sat and ate Easy Mac watching Say by the Bell all day. I love Say by the Bell. Why? It was so dumb. I know. Why do I like it? It's back, it's, by again, the way. Again, but you know what? Because it's like this one, the Veronica Mars one. It makes you no, comfortable. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> don't, don't, do not put, don't like, do not put V-Mars <laughs> in the same category as Say by the Bell. Okay. V-Mars. I always thought, I, and I always said the office felt like a hug. when you go That's out. true. Down, the office you're down during out, quarantine has been helping me. It's, Quarantine, it's I would keep watching The Office, Love even though across the street is one of the people from The Office. Have you done the full? Oh, yeah. I did the same. full thing twice during have you done quarantine. It? The whole series? Yeah. From, oh, God, probably six. Yeah. I've done that. And, uh, and you know, then I went back to the British the office, too, and then no, watched that again. over fun. Yeah. yeah. You want to uh, do emails with Yeah, us? let's do an email. Yeah. We're hitting an hour. Oh, are we? Yeah. Mm-hmm. When I wake up every morning and it does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, we're already talking about snacks. I'm we so can, excited. So we can do this one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Jesus, she really tried, huh? <laughs> yeah, what is that? <laughs> it's when she was on a, a caffeine pills and shit or something, Ooh, right? She, the girl in uh, Saved by the Bell. The uh, one who the was stripper. in strip, uh, the stripper movie. Oh, she, she had an career. overacting issue. Remember that sex scene in the tub? In yeah, the, yeah. How she oh. was just like too much? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had a... Uh, Relax. I can't remember where it was. It was it's a, a road movie, gig the and the owner had told me that that girl was wanting to come to the show. Really? She never showed up. But I was very me. pretty, but yeah. Go. Um, <laughs> the This is from Emily, and the, the subject line is late night snack thoughts. So we're already kind of talking about it. I figured oh, yeah. we'll just do some. She says, uh, obviously, this is a very important email. Have you guys ever used your gold belly gift card yet? Fuck. We never did. No, we still the need to. The answer to that is absolutely. But we got to order something before no. it dies. And it it's dies. not that we don't. And it's not that we don't want to. It's that we can never just organize our thoughts to no, do it. No, we're ADD. Like, I completely yeah. forgot. We, we just forget. Yeah. We, got a, we have full plates. We def- <laughs> If we want to fill that plate even more, we should use the gold belly. I mean, gold can. belly? Gold belly. Does it have an expiration date? I got to check. I don't think it does. Do, you even, do we even know where it is? I got to find it. Yeah. It's around. <laughs> yeah. It's around. I know it's, it's I think it's in the, my nightstand. It's next to the duct tape. <laughs> Man, I like that. Can it's I talk this, to you in the other room for a second? <laughs> just that was a good, good callback, you little, ass, little asshole callback. Yeah, I, love <laughs> it. I love it. All right. Well, well no, she did, she we did say, so she gave us some suggestions. Uh, two amazing donut places in Philly, Get, basically. Oh, I know which one she's talking yeah, about. Uh, Dottie's Donuts, which is vegan donuts. Oh, and thanks. then uh, <laughs> federal donuts, regular donuts. Thank uh, government uh, donuts. And I like this is how she describes them. A dream come true, a gift from heaven. Uh, what are they, though? I know. Um, donuts. She says, I'm not too sure. We'll check them out. They're really good. Uh, that's it. That's the email. Oh, so, wow. Cool. Nice. So Thank you. Federal Donuts well, gets robbed. Are we're doing the New Haven. Or the FBI? New Haven Pizza. What, David? If Federal Donuts <laughs> gets robbed, do they call the police or the FBI? You got to call the FBI. Yeah, it's, federal. It's, federal. it's Federal. It's Federal. Okay. We got a misheard lyric here. And, and hey, Vegas. By the way, Will, oh, don't fake 
it's funny when you, you didn't even laugh. <laughs> I don't even the way remember. He just said he goes, yeah, it's funny. So anyway, this email. <laughs> Will's completely turned it off because he knows he's not on camera right now. <laughs> you guys no, can see him right now. That. He's literally wearing the thong from Borat. But anyway. <laughs> you imagine. <laughs> I could just, and no one would see. Right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. hair. Oh. All right, let's hear some misheard. Yeah, so hairy. Like so hairy. <laughs> That'd be so weird. Yeah, dude. I like, like Eugene Levy. Just yeah, dude, that guy's got a second sweater. <laughs> Eugene Levy, he's warm just all the time, huh? Always. God damn, he's just a sweater, oh, man. That reminds right. me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll... Oh, I'm lightheaded now. This is from Amber. Misheard lyrics in Vegas. Uh, I don't know how I didn't think of this sooner since it's been a family joke for so long. But when I was about four, I thought the song "Bitty Bitty Bomb Bomb" by Selena was called "Little Bitty Lunchbox." What? <laughs> little, little Bitty, bitty lunchbox. lunchbox. I love that hey, song, dude. Hey, Little Bitty Lunchbox. It's a good song, actually. It's a good song. I, I had to watch. Brent doesn't know I just it. Watched yeah, I have no idea what you guys are I literally about. just finished the Selena series. Oh, oh that's right. There's a series. Because yeah. my wife. And I really can't wait to see huge. that. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, Becca's huge into Selena. And I watched it. It's not like it's a cliffhanger. We know what the fuck's going to happen. <laughs> right. It's like Didn't Titanic. Her, like, her manager or somebody kill her? Like the, the woman? She was in charge. Okay, she's so... Fan club. Uh, who? Selena She's started this boutique club. with her own clothing line. Yeah. And this woman was in charge of that and the fan club. And she just uh, obsessed. was obsessed with her over. That's, she got went for that job because of her obsession over her and kind of became friends with her. And, and Selena was actually kind of fooled and thought she was her buddy and everything. And then she was starting to embezzle things. They started realizing, wait a second. Money's missing. Why are we getting these bills from our vendors that says we never paid them? And all this mm. other stuff, and that was what she was in. This woman was in charge of. She was just holding on to that money. Then the dad and found she out, just shot because you know the dad ran the whole show. Yeah, you know he was dope. Actually, I think uh, he was fucking terrifying. I, you did, I, that honestly, dude. though, I kind of thought I liked the way he did his shit. But yeah. anyway, he he seemed very like he knew what he was talking about mm -hmm. to me, mm -hmm. and like he had this you woman's number right? like that, where Selena was like, "No, she's my friend," you know, and and he called her in to his office, and he was like, "Where are these things?" He goes. She's all, those people are lying. She said they were lying. All the vendors were lying. Oh, boy. And they all got their money. Yeah. And, and then he was all, okay, well, I'm going to need to see that paperwork. And she gets up and she's all, but they're lying. He goes, and he was on his desk and he goes, yeah, we'll see. Like that. And he fired her, ended up firing her. And that's when she did the dizzle. She yeah. went to a, she had a, something at a hotel room that she was, all these paperwork that she, so she was, was like, like, give me the stuff. I need my shit. She said, well, then come pick him up at this hotel. And they walked in the to the whole room together and she shot her there in the room. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. That's crazy, man. But that song, Pity Pity Bum Bum, every time I hear it, that's a good song, dude. <laughs> so she says, I uh, fall in love. I know that one. Isn't it crazy that that didn't even come out till after she died? Yeah. That's some crazy shit. Any more? Uh, yeah. She says, it made sense to me since they always played it in the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> Little bitty lunchbox. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Little bitty lunchbox. I also just wanted to say meeting uh, the Jasons in Vegas uh, was totally worth the long ass drive from Texas. I can't believe she drove from Texas. That's With her whole family. Bananas. With her whole family. Wow. They were so sweet. I met all of them. They were wonderful people. And we had a good time. She says, I can't wait for all three of you uh, to visit Houston. I'm pretty sure I drunkenly promised Jason I'd bring y'all macaroni. Yep. Ooh, oh, I'm wow. coming. Yep. Can I be a roadie? Cool. Yeah, you can roadie it up, dude. We got time for one more? Yeah, we'll do one more. Um, Carlos gave us some follow-ups. We should we should Hi. talk about this. Hi, so, bro. hey, guys. I am Carlos. Yeah. Subject line is uh, hitting a kid in the face. Uh, so, he, so he says, uh, hey, guys. I'm Carlos. Jason. I'm loving the Spanish from the last two Patreon episodes. Uh, and then, <laughs> and then and so we also were like, Carlos, where the fuck are you from? Like, we did that whole oh, thing yeah. about, yeah, like, yeah. where are you from? You've been from all these different places. And he says, Brent, stop asking so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> a really uh, couple weeks ago, I met up with a friend to play soccer. I went to a park where there were a lot of youth teams practicing, and one of them kicked a ball near where I was parked. I thought it'd be nice and kick the ball back to them. When I ki and when I kicked it, the ball took a bounce near one of the kids, and I tried yelling, heads up! But no one heard me, and the ball hit the kid square in the face as yes. it bounced up. Oh, I saw everything in slow motion as it was happening and tried warning the kid, but no one heard me. My friend and I ended up playing at a field at UC San Diego. He says, I'm from San Diego. But the memory of hitting this kid in the face with the ball will stay with me forever. <laughs> That's such a Ben Stiller and meet the parents moment. You know what <laughs> totally. I mean? Yeah. 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 I I'm going to be the cool dude. Boom, and then everything just fucks up. Right. Oh, man. Good shit. All right. You are Carlos. I think I, I think I, I like talked, him. I think I talked to him today. He asked me if I had any shows in LA coming up and I let him know what I got. I got a couple. Nice. I talked to him today. We got a couple Ron of them. Mars and talking, to talking to V Mars, texting with I am Carlos. <laughs> Detective Jason's busy. Yo, man. Oh, also somebody sent me a thing that, uh, Britney Spears will not is not asking to get out of the conservatorship. Why? Why? I don't know. Probably Why? because whoever her dad hired put a gun to her fucking head. I'm telling you, man, she's a slave. 
she is a prisoner. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Telling you, man. <laughs> you prisoner. know what I just put together? Yeah. Detective Jason, and he's watching a high school detective. Mm -hmm. Like he's really becoming a detective. See, it's research, dude. That's what it is. <laughs> so I got Jay. I got it right here. There's two different things because. 13 hours ago, Britney Spears will not ask Judge to end conservatorship. Two hours ago, Britney Spears to ask Judge to remove Dad Jamie from conservatorship. See, that was two hours ago. Wait, what was the first one? Britney Spears will not ask Judge to end conservatorship. That not was, to end it. That was, she yes. wants her dad off. She just wants pops off. It of sounds that. like it. So 13 hours ago and then two hours ago, and this is, we're recording this uh, like a, a while before you, a week before you hear it, but Britney Spears to ask Judge to remove dad from oh, conservatorship. Okay. So. He's like a big douchebag or what? what's his deal? Jamie. <laughs> Jamie Spears, dude. I met, his, I met her mom. He's nothing like uh, Selena's dad. Where? Her mom's friends with a friend of mine from oh. high school. And then we were there. They, she was supposed other. to come see me do stand up. Yeah. The mom? Mm hmm. Britney Spears' mom? Mm -hmm. yeah. How have we never talked about have that? We've never talked about that. You There's a lot of things I got to be careful with releasing to the public while I'm in the middle of an, ev an investigation. Very true. Very true. Very true. <laughs> All right. Very true. We'll save it for the Patreon. Isn't right. uh, it wasn't Jessica Simpson's dad like that too? Like, I don't fucking. He know. seemed a little handsy. He would be. He would say things like, "Yeah, if you did." <laughs> he just wow, Brent. Like he, he talked about crazy. showing off her boobs and stuff. Yeah. Like, if you Whoa. had thirty-two double Ds, wouldn't you want to show it off too? Like, yeah, yeah. He was like that. He was a weirdo. Like, that's like Donald Trump talking about his daughter. Yeah. She wasn't my Donald Trump. She wasn't my daughter. I'd fucking hit it. Like he's like literally yeah, got that weird. attitude. Yeah. Yucky, 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 yucky. Mouth, open mouth kissing her and shit. Ew. Oh, wow. All right, kids. This, let's end on that disgusting note. <laughs> if you guys want to keep hanging out with us, we're going to go hang out on the Patreon. Yep. We will see you over there. Thanks. Bye. Or see Bye. you on another time. Fuck. God damn it, Brent. I know. We are friends. Digging each other.